When looking at a horse for lameness, there can be a whole range of different signs depending on the severity of the lameness. Um, typically, from our owner's perspective, the horse may feel unbalanced when being ridden, or there may be a change in behaviour such as refusing a jump or not, a general unwillingness to move forward, which is unusual for the horse. Um, if the lameness is severe enough, a hip hike or a head bob may also be noticed from the owner. Um, from a veterinarian's perspective, or from my perspective, I always like to examine the horse at rest first from a distance and then close up and I do a detailed palpation of all four limbs and the back and the neck. In order to determine which leg is lame, I need to see the horse in motion and that will also help me grade the lameness. And I like to see the horse at a walk and at a trot in a straight line and in a circle to both directions on a soft and a hard surface. And I look at the phase of the stride uh, to see whether it's shortened. I look at how the foot lands, um, how the foot's placed. I also look at how the foot goes through the air, that is the um, foot arc, which would be typically decreased in the lame leg. And then also to help me determine whether it's a front limb or a hind limb lameness, I look for a head bob indicating a front limb lameness or um, a hip hike indicating a hind limb lameness. So a head bob is typically seen in a front limb lameness. Um, when the sound leg hits the ground, the head will lower, and when the lame leg hits the ground, the head will rise. I tend to think of it as the horse uh, raising its head to bear the pain and try and take the weight off the lame leg. Um, in some situations, examination for lameness can get confusing, particularly if there's a hind limb lameness where the, diagon the front limb on the diagonal um, will land more soundly on the ground. So if, for example, you have a right hind limb lameness, the left fore will hit the ground uh, more heavily, um, suggesting that there might be a right front limb lameness where in fact there's not, it's a right hind limb lameness. In North America, the degree of lameness seen in a horse is graded according to the AAEP, that is American Association of Equine Practitioners uh, Lameness Grading Scale, which is the details of which are included on this website. Um, this is used um, by veterinarians as a very, very useful recording system. Um, there's a couple of instances in which it can be used. Um, the first of which is when doing a lameness examination with nerve and joint blocks. Um, a recording of the lameness uh, severity can be made and then after a nerve or joint block um, the lameness is reassessed and it can be seen whether the lameness has improved by one or two or, or maybe more grades. It's also a useful system for reporting and recording severity of lameness so um, response to treatment can be seen. So for example if a horse at one time is grade three out of five lame a treatment is implemented and then it's reassessed a month later and the horse is a grade one out of five lame, you can then easily see from your medical records that the lameness has improved.